And my name is Jean-Francois Boivin, and I'm associate producer on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The, the premise is that Ezio uh, goes to Rome to the center of, of, of Borgia influence, basically. And uh, for you history buffs out there, uh, you know that at the beginning of the 1500s, uh, Rome was absolutely decrepit. Uh, Borgia influence was super, super strong. Uh, people were poor, they were starving. Uh, they were getting beat up by guards all the time. Ezio walks in there and being the, 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 the the, the justice man that he is, uh, will save a few people that, um, that are being um, uh, sort of bullied around and uh, people will turn around and say, you know, who are you, Mr. Courageous, and how can I join your gang? He, so he'll basically recruit them and send them and, and teach them how to become assassins. So he'll start by sending them out on missions and uh, that'll allow them to gain experience points cool thing about the missions that they're sending him on are actual historical events. So uh, once again, very true to the Assassin's universe. Uh, so he'll send him on actual missions of actual murders that took place uh, that without people knowing what exactly happened, right? So uh, that cool twist allows uh, us to gain experience and then spend those experience points on skills, weaponry, uh, and so and the like. So you really get to customize what your brotherhood is composed of and what they look like and basically sort of reflect you. So you can have uh, a lady archer, uh, long range weapon type of assassin, so another blunt weapon type of assassin and whatnot. And eventually when they get enough experience points, they get graduated to, um, to the assassins uh, as a true assassin uh, uh, themselves. So they, at that point you can use them in the game. Obviously you've got the, uh, the BAM move, yeah. the Brotherhood Assassin movement. I mean, is it hard to balance something like that so it isn't too overpowering? Or is that the point you're meant to be this all-powerful leader? It's hard to balance. It is very much so because we don't want it to be exploitive. Of course, uh, the way we want it to we want we want to see it is we want it to be another tool in your arsenal, no more, no less. <laughs> Ezio Auditor, brave of you to stand alone against me, but also quite foolish, assassin. So, uh, it's we want to make sure that at the same time as we want the player to feel powerful using it, we also want the, power, the, the, the player to um, uh, feel that he's responsible for the well-being of his brotherhood because they can die and you, in, you invest a lot of money in them. So you have to be smart and strategic on when to use them and how to use them. Uh, we'll limit the way uh, and the number of times and uh, the ways that you can use the Brotherhood uh, assisted moves. Uh, so uh, those are all things that um, o the overarching difficulty curve or curves in our game uh, are things that we work on continuously. Are they main characters or are they dispensable for these kind of guys? Do you know who they are? Do you find out backstory behind them? They, you, you do know who they are. Um, they, they are uh, both of them. You get, you, get, you get to know who they are because you save them in their story and they tell you a bit about their story and whatnot. Uh, but they are dispensable because they can die. So, uh, and sort of that makes it, that's that sort of emotional twist that we want people to feel. That say, oh man, I just lost, you know, Enzo. Or, or you know Fabio, and, oh my God, it's, and, and, and he was so good to me, and whatnot. And poor wife who lost him, and whatnot. You know, so we we want to make that pay, the players feel that. Yeah. Do you have control over it, whether they die or not? Is it down to you, kind of thing? If you don't upgrade them enough, or in a sense, it is. It is up to you uh, because it's as the assassin uh, order leader, uh, you have to take care of them. You have to make sure that they're uh, being properly trained at a good pace for them to become strong. It's like anything in life, anything uh, in the universe. If you try to rush things, chances are they'll be long, feeble twigs and easily breakable. Uh, if you take care of them, give them just the right amount of care, amount of, right of love, nourishment, then they grow slowly, steadily, but uh, will eventually become, uh, you know, uh, large, strong oaks. Is that, is that tied into the story? Is it their, their kind of rise to an assassin-like Ezio's rise to being a leader? It's, it's a definite component of our narrative, for sure, uh, but it's not a critical path to the end of Ezio's story. Like I said, we want it to be a, 
We want it to be a, a tool in your arsenal, no more, no less. Uh, if you don't want to use them, you don't have to. Right? We don't want to bog down the player with this feature that they don't have to use, just like you don't have to use your uh, hidden blade, or you don't have to use the horse, or you don't have to climb buildings. It's up to you. So it's the same, it's the same philosophy.